Good day, everyone. So we come to our last subtopic of topic one, where we will talk about physical and chemical changes. What do you understand about physical changes? Physical changes is actually when the change happened only at the physical state, but the chemical composition will remain unchanged. I have a very simple example here for you. I have a H2O solid, which is our eyes. I have H2O liquid, which is your water. I have H2O gas, which is your vapor. All three of them having the same chemical composition, which is H2O. But what makes them different? The physical state differ from each other. But how can we change the physical state? It's actually by heating or cooling process. So, when solid changing to liquid, liquid changing to gas, that is your heating process, where heat will be absorbed by the particles. Vice versa, when I have a gas to become liquid and liquid to become solid, that is my cooling process, where heat will be released. We have six physical changes that we are going to discuss. First and foremost, between liquid and solid, I have freezing and melting. I have condensation and evaporation. Evaporation also named as boiling process. Between gas and solid, we have sublimation and deposition. Let's start with melting. Melting is a process where solid become liquid. So, it's a heating or cooling process. Obviously, it's a heating process. As you can see, when the solid particle is heated, the kinetic energy increases and the solid particle will start to vibrate and rotate faster. When the temperature keeps rising, the particle will absorb more energy and will vibrate and rotate even faster. Up to a point, the solid particle has enough energy to overcome the strong interparticle forces between the solid. Then, the solid particle will move further away from each other and at this point, solid become liquid. Boiling. Boiling happens when I have liquid changes to gas. So, again, it's a heating process. When the liquid is heated, the kinetic energy of the liquid particle increases as well. Therefore, the liquid particle will move faster until the liquid particle have enough energy to overcome the attractive forces that holding them together. When they can overcome the attractive forces, the particle will be able to move freely and far apart. And at that point, gas will be formed. And this is what happens when you boil water at home. But I have a question here for you. How about evaporation? What makes evaporation different from boiling? Figure that out and we will discuss in the class. Freezing. Freezing is when the liquid changes to become solid. Therefore, the liquid is cold for this freezing process. When the liquid is cold, the particles of the liquid loses energy and therefore the kinetic energy of the liquid particle decreases. When the kinetic energy decreases, the liquid particle move slower. They will be very close to each other and therefore the force of attraction between the liquid particle now become more significant and stronger. And at this point, the liquid change to solid. Condensation. Condensation happens when gas changes into liquid. For condensation to happen, gas is cold. When the gas is cold, the gas particle will lose its energy and they will move slower. When they move slower, the distance between the gas particles will become closer to each other. The interparticle forces become stronger and become more significant. Up to a point when the particles is close enough, liquid will be formed. 
sublimation. Sublimation happen when the solid change directly into the gas without going through the liquid state. But how can the solid change directly to gas? It can happen when the solid is heated drastically. Drastically means that the temperature increase extremely fast. And at this point, the kinetic energy of the solid particle will be extremely high. The solid particle will be moving extremely fast. The energy gained by the solid particle will be able to make it overcome the strong attractive forces that holding them at their fixed position in the solid previously. And when they have enough energy to overcome the strong forces, gas produce. Vice versa of sublimation is deposition. Deposition is a process where gas will be changed directly to the solid without going through liquid. What is the condition for this physical change to happen? It's the super cold condition. Super cold condition means that the temperature drop drastically. And when the temperature drop drastically, the particle will lose a lot of energy and therefore the kinetic energy will decrease by a lot. Then the gas particle will move extremely slow and the particle will also be closer to each other until a moment that the strong interparticle forces able to hold them in a fixed position at that time, solid form. Let's move to chemical changes. If physical changes only happen to the physical state, chemical changes must undergo chemical reaction. It's the formation of new substance through chemical reaction. The atoms within a substance will be rearranged into different combinations forming different products. We have two types of chemical changes. First, combination. Second, decomposition. Combination come from the word combine. You can combine two or more substance through chemical reaction to form one or more different substance. For example, I have A plus B. So you can produce AB. But how about if I have X plus Y plus Z? I can produce XY. I can produce YZ. A very simple chemical reaction that I can give to you is magnesium solid completely burn under oxygen gas. So you produce a magnesium oxide solid. So you have a magnesium, one substance, you have oxygen gas, another substance, combined together through chemical reaction to form magnesium oxide. Another chemical changes is decomposition. Decomposition is when one substance decompose and form two or more different substance. For example, I have AB and the AB decompose to become A plus B. Let's look into a simple decomposition reaction. Ammonium gas can decompose and form nitrogen gas plus hydrogen gas. And balance the equation. And that is a type of decomposition reaction. And that's it for this video. And we come to the end of the topic one matter. I'll see you in the next video for the second topic. Thank you for watching.